Saturday night without some cheers and a few bottle of beers? But have you ever wondered how this beer is made? Well, you all might know how it tastes, but I can bet only a few would know about the actual process. So let's discuss the process of beer making. The process of beer making is also known as brewing and the company or the person that makes this beer is known as the brewer. There are several steps involved in the beer making process. So let's discuss them one by one. First step in the beer making process is called malting. Barley grains are soaked in water for about two to three days and are allowed to germinate. For germination, moisture, warmth and oxygen are required. Germination process is one of the most crucial processes of beer making as germination allows formation of amylase enzyme which further helps in the breakdown of starch present in the barley grains into maltose that is sugar. After the germination process, the process of kilning takes place where the malt is heated to stop the germination process and for drying. Temperature however should not kill the amylase enzyme. Now after the process of milling, mashing takes place where malt is mixed with water at around 38 to 50 degrees Celsius. And the mixture is heated to temperature about 65 to 75 degrees Celsius. After this mashing process, a liquid is filtered out and that liquid is named as wort. And the filtration process is known as lottering. The solids left after the filtering of liquid in the tank are known as PSG or reverse spent drains and can be used as an animal feed. Now this wort is boiled with hops for around 2-3 to three hours. Hops are basically flowers of a plant Eupilus lupulus, which consists of essential oils that add the distinct bitterness in beer. Now the liquid is clarified and all the undissolved material are removed from it. Now the wort is taken into the fermentation tank where the process of fermentation takes place. Saccharomyces yeast is used for the fermentation process. Here, two types of beer are formed, namely ale and lager. For ale beer, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, that is top fermenting yeast, is used while for lager beer, bottom fermenting yeast, that is Saccharomyces carlsbergensis, is used. For further differences between ale and lager, watch our next video. After this, beer is taken for the conditioning or maturation. Beer is filtered out and filled in the bottles. This process is known as bottling. Before this, beer is sometimes carbonated. That is, carbon dioxide is additionally added to the beer to give it an extra fizz. So this is the complete process of beer making. I hope you liked the video. And for more such informative content, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.